Hi friends, welcome back. So Apple, Elon Musk, Tesla, Twitter slash X are all giving us a glimpse into the future of AI. And it may not necessarily be what you think it is. I wanna share some things and uh, let's just jump right in. So first, um, if you're a fan of sci-fi, you'll know what Blade Runner is. Uh, I, I saw this movie growing up. I think it's one of the best movies ever made. Um, it basically uh, says, hey, this is gonna be the future of LA. We got flying cars. Uh, and we have essentially billboards everywhere. Uh, this is like a new video game coming out, which is in that kind of Blade Runner world. Uh, and uh, essentially, right, neon signs, lots of things moving around, catching your eye. And will it be raining every day? That remains to be seen. Uh, but uh, I can tell you, like, guys, this is my Instagram. And um, if I just hit explore and kind of look, it's filled with this kind of stuff, right? So you probably... Uh, have seen these kind of AI generated images or celebrities, et cetera. This is essentially what Instagram looks like or smiling people doing uh, whatever they're doing. And moreover, um, the reason why I'm showing this stuff is that uh, if you look at Elon Musk, uh, he always tweets out images like this, right? So he's moving from Delaware to Nevada and you can see it's an image of a car going to the right, et cetera. Um, moreover, there's something else I wanna point out to you as well. Um, <laughs> this is, um, I laugh because uh, this is real. Um, so this is five hours ago. Elon Musk is saying, uh, tweeting out accurate and he's retweeting a video from Farzad. Who's one of the, uh, Tesla pumpers. And at this point he must just be an employee of Tesla. I mean, you can see it for yourself. Now, the reason why I'm pointing this out is because I think lately Farzad has been using AI to make his videos, both in scripting, uh, and in video content. If you don't know this, there's a bunch of, um, essentially kind of AI video generative, um, uh, companies out there and they basically just string a whole bunch of footage together because uh, Farzad has been making a ton of videos without showing his face and that's the key because I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of this kind of content this is why I'm showing you this I'm saying hey guys you know this idea of someone just hanging out in, in their house you know saying hey uh, let's talk about news and stuff like that may be gone we're going to see a lot more faceless videos I think and uh, Farzad is already in there and Elon Musk again is tweeting out along with these kind of images. Now, why am I showing you this stuff? Um, as it turns out, Apple is jumping into this game. This is the headline coming from The Verge on February 15th, 2024. A headline, Apple's latest prototype AI tool can animate images using text descriptions. Uh, so I think we're calling this thing Key Framer. And the basic gist of it is, um, you can see here, you got like this uh, planet uh, with stars and you'll just type in, um, generate three designs where the sky fades into different colors. Right, so you type that in there and then it would come up with this sequence basically and then it'll string the sequence together and hence you got an animation. So we're gonna see more planet animations, rocket animations, etc. And then again, the reason why I showed you Elon Musk uh, Twitter slash X is because he's always actually uh, tweeting out all kinds of you know crazy meme animations uh, or not, I should say pictures, but they're ultimately going to be animations. And so just imagine what a world will be like when say, I'm just showing you guys my Instagram, when all this stuff is gonna be all in motion. Right now it's all still, it's all in motion. And is that the world we wanna live in? Just just imagine it, just just you know, close your eyes and just think like all these moving images all of the time, that's what we're gonna be looking at <laughs> in the future. Um, and, and if you you know need more sort of like convincing of what Apple's up to, this is another headline here. It says, Apple made an AI image tool that lets you make edits by describing them. So basically, you know, you can uh, make it so that your pepperoni pizza has vegetables on it. Uh, you can like change the colors on your cheetahs, et cetera. You can change what's on the laptop um, or, you know, anything that you want, you can just describe it. Um, is there really gonna be use cases for this other than social media? Maybe, but I think for the vast majority of us, we're just gonna be using it uh, to make social media kind of stuff. And um, actually there's another thing I wanna show you guys too. Uh, this is over on Apple's website. Um, they, they're basically doing, the best way to describe it is like green screen kind of technology. So you'll have these people essentially, you know, running around a room, et cetera, you guys can see here. So they're, they're training it and then they'll end up combining the image. So here's another person, right? They're just running around, um, uh, her, I guess in front of her, her driveway, jumping up and down, stuff like that. And then the AI can separate the person from the background, right? So this person's like doing the, uh, the iris dance thing, right? You guys can see this. I'm just showing you quickly. Um, and then what you do is you take all three of the people and then you just put it together. So, you know, will there be um, larger use cases other than just posting with your friends on social media? <laughs> I mean, I mean I, I, because, because what, what I'm telling you is this image here of people dancing, it's gonna be plastered everywhere. So just imagine these dancing people, right? And imagine your whole Instagram feed, Twitter feed, whatever, Facebook feed is just gonna be 
dancing people, right? That that that's what we're going to be seeing. And 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 to be really frank, we were kind of living in that world now with TikTok. It's just going to get worse. So, you know, it <laughs> is this the world that we want? Maybe for some people it is. Um, the other thing too that Apple wants to be doing is um, they're going to be challenging uh, GitHub Copilot here, and I, I think this is um, uh, part of Microsoft. If, if and you guys can uh, correct me if I'm wrong, um, but uh, for people who are in the computer world, they know what this stuff is. This Copilot thing. So basically, um, it, it's it's a way to uh, code faster. It's kind of like I mean the best way that you know because I'm not a coder, but I would say the best way to describe it for me when I look at this stuff. It's kind of like spell checking for coders. You know, when I you know write an email or paper or whatever, you know, spell checking is really useful, grammar checker, et cetera. So it's kind of like that. And, and like I said, coders will be able to describe it much more better than, than myself, um, but essentially it helps people to code faster using the power of, of AI. But it, it, it is still not exactly like Terminator kind of stuff at the moment. Um, and, and I'm showing you the pricing of this stuff because I want you guys to see the kind of money that's involved. So if you get everyone to sign up for this thing, and, and I guess you get the enterprise version, it's like 20 bucks a month. Um, I guess just regular versions, maybe about four bucks, something like that. Uh, and and I think, you know, for Apple, they'll probably jump into the world of avatars and, you know, you you can put yourself in, a, you know, 1980s clothes. That, that was a popular thing on Instagram the last, uh, I don't know, month or so where, where you're doing like 1980s pictures and you send people your, you know, the, the app, your photo, and it does stuff like that. Um, but I think the uh, interesting thing, too, is the government is getting involved in this stuff. Um, and uh, what I mean by that is um, you can see the headline here. Uh, FTC launches inquiry into generative AI investments and partnerships. And it's asking the big companies, be it your know, Amazon, Microsoft, OpenAI, et cetera, um, are you allowing for fair competition? Uh, this is dated on January 25th, 2024. Um, the quote is here. It says uh, history shows come from the FTC. Uh, his, history shows that new technologies can create new markets and healthy competition. As companies race to develop and monetize AI, we must guard against tactics that foreclose this opportunity. Our study will shed the light on whether investments and partnerships pursued by dominant companies risk distorting innovation and undermining fair competition. So uh, we'll see if indeed that, um, you know, is it one big company buying up everything like Elon Musk, Apple, you know, Tesla, et cetera, Microsoft, Apple, you know, I already said Apple, but Amazon. Um, and this is going to be dominated by by the big corporations. Now, if you look at the world like a Blade Runner, the answer would be yes. Um, I live here in Korea and I can tell you that's the world we already live in. Uh, Samsung, LG, Hyundai, um, these big companies, they basically control everything, right? And, um, you know, in the USA is a little bit different because we're supposed to have anti-monopoly laws <laughs> or I should say antitrust laws, the same idea. But, um, you know, we don't want um, one big company ruling over everything. Um, but the concern that I have is uh, essentially people are going to be so sucked into the virtual world and the attention spans of young people are going to be diminishing um, by, by, you know, by the second um, already it is because of TikTok. Like we watch, what is it, 60 second videos or, or whatever of people dancing. And it's only going to get worse because it's going to be easier to generate those dancing videos uh, with AI. Um, the other thing, too, which we're going to be watching and, and I'm just sharing with you guys. Um, this is uh, something really interesting. This is coming out February 15th, 2024. Uh, read the headline FTC proposes new protections to combat AI impersonation of individuals. And uh, this issue came up, uh, I don't know, maybe two or three months ago. Uh, if you've been following the news and following the channel, we talked about this. So it was both Scarlett Johansson and um, uh, Tom Hanks were actually suing companies uh, for using their image and, and likeness to promote said companies. Um, that's going to be a big problem going forward, um, be it with the elections. I was reading some articles where, you know, social uh, uh, media companies have to worry about that because, like, you know, right now I can take any political candidate, copy their voice, copy their image, and you can easily fool people of like, oh, you know, so-and-so president said they're going to, you know, give you everyone a million dollars in stimulus checks or they're going to cut all your taxes or whatever, right? I mean, it's, it's so easy to, to or easier, I won't say so easy, but easier uh, to fake people and, and um, you know, uh, news these days that I think this is going to be a big problem going forward. So, you know, just talking out loud with you, because um, I was as I was going through everything, um, if you're a big fan of Elon Musk and, and memes and jokes and essentially AI generated videos with faceless, you know, things. And moreover, if you want to live in a world where corporations control everything and to where like we all work for said corporation and the only way to benefit is to basically do advertising for said corporations, I, I guess the future is for you. 
Um, my personal opinion and stuff is that I don't want to remove the human element too much. Uh, so that's why, you know, just, I make statements on this every day where I, I you know, chat with you, um, on the channel and just talk directly as you as a human completely uncut. Um, because I, I hope we can maintain that world, but I get it. The young generation, they're just going to want to watch, you know, this stuff. This is, this is the future. And, um, just put Elon Musk's face on there with a, with a, Do a Doge coin. Uh, going to the moon and uh that's 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 gonna be the that's gonna be the future uh, moreover with the uh people who are sponsored by elon right so that is what it is um i'd like to hear you guys' thoughts on this stuff uh it's uh <laughs> there's no stopping the ar ai sponsored juggernaut i guess so thanks again for watching everyone and uh, i'll catch you next video